Hello everyone, this is Amar Sonone. So in this video, I'll be discussing about milling machine operations. So let's start the video. First of all, what is a milling operation? So milling is basically a machining process that uses these rotary cutters to remove the material by advancing this cutter into the workpiece. So this is a multi-edge cutting point tool which has multiple cutting edges over it. So this multi point cutting edge tool is mounted over spindle or arbor of milling machine. And this spindle and arbor will rotate this rotary cutting tool which is fed against this workpiece to remove the material from workpiece. So this is the milling operation. Now let's see the types of milling operation. First operation is the plane milling operation. So here you can see a setup for plane milling operation in this image. So plane milling is also called as slab milling. So in this operation plane milling cutter or slab milling cutter is used which you can see in this image also. So this cutter is mounted on arbor or spindle and it is rotated by the spindle. So a plane milling operation is a simple operation that produces flat and horizontal surface which will be parallel to axis of rotation of this cutter. So a surface to be milled by this operation will be parallel to the axis of rotation of cutter. So this is the plane milling operation. Next operation is the face milling operation which is a reverse of plane milling operation. So in this operation a face milling cutter is used. You can see the axis of this face milling cutter which is perpendicular to the workpiece surface. This is the workpiece surface. So this is the operation which is performed by face milling cutter which you can see in this image also. So the axis of this cutter will be at a right angle to workpiece surface. So next operation is the angular milling operation. So you can see an image of angular milling cutter which is mounted on this arbor of milling machine. So this angular milling cutter have a teeth which are cut at angle to this axis of cutter. So this angular milling cutter are used for production of angular surface on workpiece. So that is nothing but the angular milling. So angular milling is an operation of producing the angular surface onto the workpiece and for that angle milling cutter is used. So production of V block is an example of this angular milling. So this is nothing but a V block. Next is the form milling operation. So here you can see and set up for form milling. A form milling cutter which is mounted onto the arbor. Now here this is the operation of production of irregular counter. So a irregular counter like this can be created by this form milling operation. And for that form milling cutter is used. The shape of the cutter is just similar to the shape of profile created onto the workpiece. So this operation is used to create concave convex surfaces. So a gear production is an example of this form milling operation. Next is the end milling. Here you can see a end milling operation setup. So the end milling cutter is used in this operation which have a flutes over it. So this end mill cutter may be two flute or four flute milling cutter. So this end milling cutter will be hold into the collet chuck. So this end milling operation is used to machine vertical, horizontal or angular flat surface that can be machined with the help of this end milling operation. Next is the slot milling operation. So name itself indicates that 
it is an operation or production of slot of different sizes can be produced in a milling machine by using plain milling cutter or end mill or side mill cutters so a production of slot is nothing but the slot milling operation so this slot can be of different sizes can be produced with the help of this slot milling operation next is the gang milling operation so it is you can see the gang milling operation involves two or more milling cutters so here two or more milling cutters are there they are mounted onto the single arbor so they are mounted onto the single arbor to machine several surfaces simultaneously so at a one time you can machine several surfaces of workpiece so that is the gang milling operation so this gang milling operation will definitely save the machining time and it is definitely used in repetitive type of work the diameter of this milling cutter which are mounted onto this arbor may be different so here you can see the different shape cutters are used on to this gang milling operation next is the straddle milling so straddle milling here you can see a setup side and face milling cutters are there so straddle milling is used when you have must have two or more parallel vertical surface machine in a one cut if you want to machine two or more parallel surfaces in one cut then this straddle milling operation can be used so these milling cutters are basically separated by these spacers which you can see here next is the upcut milling operation so this is most commonly used method of feeding the workpiece against the direction of rotation of cutter so this workpiece is fed in opposite direction to the rotation of cutter so that is nothing but the up milling up cut milling operation and next operation is the down cut milling operation in this operation you can see the workpiece feed is in same direction as that of rotation of this cutter so that is a down cut milling operation hope you understood this all operation please like the video thank you for watching